guys, it's the Tides Carb Life, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be reading Magic Trios number 28, High Tide in Hawaii by Mary Pope Osborne Celeste Start. Sorry I haven't been reading a few days because I've been busy making videos and yeah, so I'm really sorry, but but don't worry, we're gonna finish the book today. So let's get started. Sorry about my dad snoring, it's really funny. Okay, so chapter nine. Chapter 9, Telling the Story Finally, the hugging and crying and laughing died down. The villagers started walking back to their huts. Jack and Annie followed Boca, Kema, and their parents. We felt the ground shaking, said Boca. And Kema's father, we knew a big wave might follow. Jack saved us, said Boca. He read in a, big, in a book and found out about the big waves. What's a, what's a book? asked his mother. Show them, Annie said to Jack. Jack reached into his pack and took out their research books. Book. It tells about the big, the big waves here, in he, there, in here. He said, books give lots of information. Ah. Ha, aha, said Boca and came as a mother. A book is a good thing. Books tell story. Books tell stories too, said Annie. That is impossible, said Kima. The book cannot move its feet on or wave its hands. It cannot sing or chant. Or chant or chant, sing or chant. It's, that's true, said Jack, smiling. Now we should do a hula, now now we should do the hula, Boca said to Annie, Kima, and Jack, and tell our story. I'll watch, said Jack, stepping away. Boca and Kima's father called for music. The villagers gathered ar around a man. Okay, good. A man started to play a pipe. A teenage boy knocked two sticks together. Two sticks together. Some woman began shaking rattles. Boca, Kema, and Annie waved their hands in time to the music. They stepped from side to side. They say swayed their hips. Kema chanted about going out into the water. She said she, Boca, and Annie watched their hands to show how they paddled out to sea. Kema chanted about how Jack had warned them, them. She and the others waved their hands, them, hands to show how they rode their surfboards to shore. Then Jack surprised himself. He waved his hand to show how, how he rode his surfboard like a bird shore, soaring through the air the next thing he knew, he was stepping from side to side. He was swaying his hips. He was doing the hula. Kama champ chanted about how the water had pulled away from the shore and how they had climbed to safety and how the giant wave had crashed against the cliff. As Kema chanted the story, all the villagers jointed the dance in the dance. The tall grass swayed the palm trees. The palm trees swayed and all the hula dancers swayed too. When the story ended, everyone clapped. Thanks for help 
helping us, Spoka said to Jack and Annie. We were good team. We were a good team, said Annie. We were the we are the best friends at Kama. Yeah, said Jack. I'm sorry I said mean things. We were sorry we laughed at you, said Boca. I'm sorry I grabbed the book, said Annie. Our mother says friendships is like riding the waves, said Kama. Sometimes you ride low, gentle waves. Sometimes sometimes you ride low gentle waves sometimes you ride high ro rough rough ones annie annie gasped she looked at jack she repeated morgan's rhyme to find to find a special magic build a special kind of ship that rides the waves both high and low on every kind of trip friendship friendship that's a ship said Jack, and we built it, said Jack. She and Jack burst out laughing. Boca and Kema looked a little confused, They, but they laughed, but they laughed too. We had to go back to our own room, how, own home now, and he said to Boca and Kema, this it's time to say goodbye, said Jack. We never say goodbye, said Kima. We all, we say aloha when we greet our, greet our friends. And we say aloha when we leave them. Friends are always together, said Boca. E said Boca, even when, when, when they're far apart when they are far apart. Have a good journey in your magic tree house, said Kama. Thanks, said Jack and Annie. They waved to all the villagers. Aloha. Aloha, everyone called back. Then Annie and Jack started through the meadow. T tiny yellow birds and orange and black butterflies filtered about them. At the edge of the meadow, they came to the grove of the palm trees. They climbed up the rope ladder into the tree house. Out the window, Jack saw a tall mountain, the small village, the small village and flowery meadow in the ocean. The water was peaceful again. I still have my lee said Annie. He took, she took it off. Through the red flowers were wet. They were still a little fluffy. Okay, time to finish the book. It's proof that we found a special magic, said Jack. The magic of friendship. Annie put the lee on the floor next to place grows the twig and the corn seed then he she picked up the pennsylvania book ready she said jack sighed i love hawaii he said finally you admitted it said annie she pointed at a picture at a picture of frog creek wood i wish i wish we could go home now the wind started to blow the tree has started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Almost done with the book. Now, chapter 10. We're reading the last book so you can know. The last chapter, then we're done for the book. And then, you know, then, I, then you're done with the book. So, yeah. So, chapter 10. Everyday magic. Jack opened his eyes. The sun was setting beyond the woods. No time at all had passed in Frog Creek. Welcome back, she said a soft, lovely voice. Morgan Lee Fay was, was in the magic tree house. Morgan cried, Annie, Annie. She, Morgan, Morgan cried, Annie. She threw her arms around the entrance. Jack hugged Morgan to look, Morgan, said Annie. We have proof to, we found four special kinds of magic. Yes, I see, 
said Morgan. Morgan picked up the play up the play scrolls that Shakespeare's have had given Jack and Annie in Old England. You found the magic of theater, said she said. Morgan picked up the twig from the mountain gorilla in the African cloud forest. At the magic of animals, she said. Morgan picked up the pouch of corn, of corn seeds from their trip the first Thanksgiving, and and the magic of animals. She said. Morgan picked up the pouch of corn seeds from their trip from the first Thanksgiving. Oops, I already read that. Sorry. Um, and the magic of complete community. She said. Finally, Morgan picked up the rough of flowers from Kema and Boca, and you discovered the magic from of friendship, said, she said. Morgan looked at Jack and Annie for a long time. Listen carefully to what, I, what I'm about to say, she said. Yes, they both leaned forward. You are now magicians of everyday magic, said Morgan. You have learn to find the magic in things you encounter encounter on earth every day there are many other forms of everyday magic you've never you never had to look far to find it you only had have to live there your life to fullest jack and annie nodded soon you will be called upon to use your knowledge of everyday magic in in the realm of fa fantasy you the realm of fantasy the realm of fantasy said camp jack said jack we are going to camelot said annie before morgan could answer a shout came from the distance jack annie our dad's Calling, said Annie. Or that's calling, said Annie. You must go home now, said Morgan, gently. Rest and get ready for your test powers. You most exciting challenges. You challenges. You're, you yet to come. Goodbye, Morgan, said Annie and Jack. They hugged their entrance. They Then Jack took the Hawaii book out of their pack and and j gave it to morgan the the he put the put the he put on his pack backpack and followed annie down the ladder when they got stepped onto the ground there was a great roar above them Jack and Annie looked up. A swirl of sparkling light lit the top of the tree. Then the light was gone. The tree house was gone. Morgan Le Fay was gone too. Jack and Annie didn't speak for a long moment. Then Jack bro broke broke the silence. Our most exciting challenges are yet to come he said do we do you, what do you think morgan meant by that come are you yet to come i don't know said annie it sounds a little scary said jack it's okay we can handle this said annie she smiled we are magicians of every day where is every day everyday magic magicians of everyday magic Jack smiled. Yeah, he said. I guess we are. They walked out of the woods as the sun was setting down. Was setting down the street. Street. Their mom and dad were standing on their front porch. They waved at Jack and Annie. Jack felt a surge of happiness. There's another kind of of everyday magic, he thought. The magic of family. In the moment, it seemed the best magic of all. D and
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video today on the Tiny's Crab Life. And I'll see you guys in Bye, it's incredible. Leave a big thumbs up on this video and say that you like the ending or not. Bye, stay incredible.